Then I'm surprised how you are doing a work which is not bad, but still you don't have any computational power. He said that I will offer you a facility on the high performance computer. So since 2005, we have a direct access to the United States for using the high performance computers. So all my students are connected or connected 24 hours, anytime, and this is what has boosted the whole uh, uh, publication of it. Right. And we are, we are uh, acknowledge, uh, we acknowledge the whole help that you have to be there with us. Right. Now, apart from, the, uh, apart from the, the, the teaching and research, we are fully active in other areas. For example, we have regular conferences. I'm a bit surprised to see, the, but I feel to know about the the issues that you are having. We have a conference, a flagship conference that we organize every two years that we get almost 200 international participants coming from 40 countries. Right. And it's going quite well. And always we try to get a Nobel laureate for our keynote lecture. Right. And uh, we have a virtual conference that we organize. And then we have a regular uh, outreach activities to the schools because there's a problem in Mauritius, I don't know <coughs> in other countries, about the interest of students to do science. Uh, they, they, they're trying to get away. Uh, so the whole idea is to encourage them to, not all, all of them of course, but to undertake science in their secondary education. Uh, so things are going quite well. Now, as again, uh, in 2000, before that but now I was proposed to start the elective, so this was my starting point. As I said, we, do, we teach them the basic principle and then some applications and um, uh, we also have practicals, right? And uh, ultimately then, we are able to develop our research team. Now, the research team, uh, li like I said, at that time I had to develop something which was within our means. We can't do something which is beyond our means, beyond our computational... Okay. Now, the thing is, for example, uh, yes, so we do have computational power, but I also have to have a plan B. What about if in future we no more have access to the high performance computer? What will happen to my students? Right. But then uh, we had proposals to run this computational facility in Mauritius. It will not be used. Huh. Can you imagine just five, six students will use a high performance computer costing million of Mauritian rupees? Whereas from there, we are using, giving publication output with proposals we can continue to Now, our research then, like I said, uh, with most students interested in this subject, we started the computational chemistry group, they start, uh, finished their PhDs, currently working, we do have post postdoctoral fellows, and the students are also working. But then, the, the theme of research. What are the theme of research that we have really focused? Right. One of them is isolated novel molecules, I'll tell you why. The global warming species, reaction mechanism, and then drug development. But I thought that I will have less time, but that's why I've kept only two of them that might be of your interest. I've kept one based on the isolated novel molecules and one of the reaction mechanism. But if we have time, I can always give you an idea about the other two that we're doing. Right. Now, in terms of the isolated novel molecules, what we try to do, we try to, to look into literature and then identify potential molecules, potential uh, compounds that are novel, have not been studied, but then we use the computational methods to give to the experimentalist. Right. Uh, means uh, different like spectroscopic, structural, and so on and so on parameters that might help them in their quest for these new compounds. Right. Now, recently we had something which is very interesting. Now, I am myself a member of the OPCW. I don't know whether you have heard about the OPCW. It is the Organization of the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. Right. So then, uh, as part of that organization, uh, scientific member, I have the responsibility to share with, with everyone about the whole idea of chemical warfare. Uh, now, what is a chemical warfare? As you may know, it is something that is used to cause harm, uh, mass destruction. Uh, now, uh, but then uh, you realize that, for example, if I take something which is well known, if you take sarin, uh, if someone just come and keep a bottle of sarin here, right? Uh, unfortunately, then you'll find that there will be mass destruction, right? But then, sarin 
If ever you have a suspect of sarin, today you have means and ways to detect sarinism in a very low concentration and to destroy sarin completely so that everyone is safe. But then, if you allow me to use the word, terrorists are not interested on the 